Inilah School of Rock, program ekstrakurikuler seni musik yang dikelola sebuah perusahaan swasta dan bekerja sama dengan lebih dari 70 sekolah di seluruh Amerika. Di sini siswa boleh belajar memainkan alat musik apa saja yang mereka sukai atau berlatih vokal seperti Emily. Um, I've never actually performed before. So this is my first time doing performances and stuff. I just love performing for people and I didn't really realize it um, how much I love to perform until I came here. Orang tua pun mendukung semangat mereka. They, when I came in here, they were so excited about this. They they were my dad encourages me to do this all the time and my mom she loves it too. Dengan biaya 275 dolar atau sekitar 2,5 juta rupiah per bulan, setiap minggunya peserta mengikuti sekali latihan private dan sekali latihan dalam grup. Disediakan juga kelas lanjutan. Semua pengajarnya adalah musisi profesional. I didn't get into I didn't get into any music actually until I was uh, in seventh grade. Before then, it was just straight uh, computer computer games. Yeah, I I would like go into games and change everything. I was a hardcore nerd. That was me. Sedangkan untuk Chris, School of Rock bahkan mampu membantunya melewati masa-masa sulit saat adiknya meninggal akibat leukemia. Originally with my sister died, I was eight years old, and not a lot of eight-year-olds know how to deal with things, and I just been kind of depressed. I started listening to music. I started listening to music, and I was in a dark place, but eventually learning to play drums, sing, and the rest of the instruments, those things helped me through it, which saved me. Juga kini, saat Chris didiagnosa menderita penyakit kanker langka, School of Rock menjadi terapinya. Rafael Setio, Rafael Pinasti, VOA.